Praise the name of the Lord God, the one who made heaven and earth. I hope everyone is having a great day. I hope everyone is living a life of purpose. I pray that everyone is living a life to be great because you are destined for greatness and God wants to use you in this time. In this time in your life, do know that God wants to use you and God is going to use you for his glory and for his purpose. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. This is Minister JB. Uh, I am just sitting around, just chilling, you know, and just spending some time with God, some quality time with God, uh, just to, you know, see, you know, what his plans are for my life and seeking, you know, my vision for the day and, uh, you know, just communing with God, taking time out of my busy schedule to come away with God and um, see what he's talking about. You know, we have to, as children of God, as people of God, and you consider yourself uh, a Christian, uh, you need to make sure that you're spending quality time with God. Because when you spend quality time with God, there is that is where he will give you your vision. That is where he will begin to speak to you, to give you the plans for your life. You know, he created you. God created you, and so he knows everything about you. He knows your faults. He knows where you're weak. He knows your strengths. He even knows your future. And so, therefore, if you want to know your future and you want to know your purpose, why not communicate with the one who created you? You know, God created you, and so he knows the path that you should take and the path that you are supposed to be on. And so if you want to get on the right path and you want to get on the right track in life and you're questioning where I should go, God, what's my next business venture? What's my next project? What's my next creative creative idea? What do I need to do? You need to commune with God and get a plan and get the plan for your life and not only get the plan, but execute the plan. All right. So execute the plan because faith without works is dead. And so therefore you can't expect, oh, a lot of people talk about, oh, I'm waiting on God to send me a check in the mail. Oh, I'm waiting on the check to fall from the sky and you waiting on God. But what are you doing to get that check in the mail? Are you out you know, selling your, your, your invention? Are you out selling your book? If you're an author, are you out selling your mixtapes? If you are in entertainment with rap, R and B gospel, whatever, you have to be doing something to get something. Come on now. You got to be doing something to get something. And so I don't want to preach, but the Lord just wanted me to come online to let you and you, you and you, and you, and you know, that sometimes you just need to praise God. You need to get out of yourself. You need to get out of the flesh and you need to give God praise. You know, and I'm going to just keep it real. Sometimes it's hard to give God praise. Sometimes your body is under so much attack. You're under so much weight. You're going through this. You're going through that. It's really hard to give God praise. You have to work yourself up to give God praise because the devil don't want you to praise God. The enemy doesn't want you to give God the glory. The enemy doesn't want you to praise God when you don't see your way out. The enemy don't want you to praise God when God hasn't healed your body. The enemy doesn't want you to praise God when the bills are due. The enemy doesn't want you to praise God when your car payments due. The enemy doesn't want you to give God praise when you're going through. But the word of the Lord for you today is Praise the Lord anyhow, no matter what situation you're in, no matter if you can't pay the bills, no matter if you can't pay your rent, praise God, praise God for life, praise God for health, and most of all, praise God for strength, because daily God is strengthening you and I, and so as we are moving forward in life, and we're moving forward, you know, following God, being obedient to God. And doing what he say do. Praise God. Give God a shout. Hallelujah. Give God a shout. Glory to God. Give God a shout. I give you praise. I worship you for who you are. You are the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. And there is no one like you. God, I come to you empty. 
I come to you, God, with nothing, God. Fill me up with all of you, more of you, and less of me. Those are some of the words and some of the things that you have to say when you come to God. Come to God in humility. But in the midst of your trial, in the midst of your circumstance, praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because when you begin to praise God, check it. Listen, I'm going to keep it 100 and real with you. When you begin to praise God outside of yourself, outside of your feelings, where well, I don't feel like it, where well, I don't feel good, where well, I don't feel it, I got a headache, my head hurt, I don't feel like praising God. When those those are the words that that substitutes the flesh. I me ah me those are fleshly words and so therefore god does not deal in the flesh he does not deal in the eyes and the me's so when you come out of the eye when you come out of the me and you come out of the flesh and you begin to praise god with your whole heart outside of how you feel meaning if your feet hurt praise god if your legs hurt praise god if your head hurt praise god when you begin to praise God like this, you will begin to see an instant change. You will begin to feel things break off of your life. You will begin to see your body get healed. You will begin to see your mind get regulated. You will begin to feel the pressures and the weight of this world fall off of you when you praise God. Come on now. Come on. Come on, church. Come on now, this is elementary stuff now. You got to praise God outside of yourself. Hallelujah. And so, as you are praising God, because the way God works is, let me just break that down for you. God says that the way he works is those who worship God must worship him, come to him, reverence him in spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth, our body is a three-part body. We are soul, we are spirit, and, and we are flesh. And so, therefore, we have to come out of the flesh, which is the eyes and the bees, and get to God through our spirit, man, through Jesus Christ. So, praise God. When you don't feel it, praise God when you don't see it, because in the midst, oh, I feel God right now. God, I thank you. God, I thank you for touching the people that's watching this video now. God, I thank you for breaking the strongholds off of their lives right now. God, I thank you, God, for giving them a praise in their spirit right now. God, I thank you, God, for meeting them right now where they are at. God, thank you right now that, oh, God, that you're giving them a praise outside of the flesh. And, God, you're giving them a praise that's going to shake the foundations of the enemy. God, you're giving them a praise that's going to heal their current situation. God, you're giving them a praise that's going to bring them out of their current environment into a new environment. God, you're giving them a praise outside of the flesh but a praise in the spirit oh god i thank you right now that you're giving us a praise an eternal praise so praise god praise god praise god praise the lord praise the name of jesus lift him up high and don't look back hallelujah so, guys, be blessed. Be safe. It's crazy. I'm in the city of Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and we done already had three murders within the last two weeks. So, that's a sign right there that if you still living and you got breath in your body, in your body, you need to praise God. Come on now. You need to praise Him. So, praise God. Be blessed.